Long ago, the red paint people, a pre-Columbian culture indigenous to New England, lived right here. They were named after their burials, which used large quantities of ochre, normally red, to cover the bodies of the dead. That was nearly 10,000 years ago. The humble alewife, river herring, razor belly, moon eye, a keystone species that our local ecosystem could not exist without. Consider that a few hundred thousand females can produce several trillion young. From the red paint people to us, this little fish allows us to live and eat the way we do. Life hasn't always been easy for the alewife. This is Benton Falls Dam around 1870. To the left is a passage for the fish to jump. For years, to get to Benton, the alewife had to get above the Edwards Dam in Augusta and the Fort Halifax Dam in Winslow. Fast forward 149 years. This is the same location today. This may look rather imposing and dangerous to a little fish, but it is friendlier than one might think. On the left of the dam is a fish elevator. The fish simply take the elevator to the second level. <laughs> this is a view inside the fish counter at the exit of the elevator. By 2008, the two mentioned before, before mentioned dams had been breached, and for the first time in 300 years, hundreds of thousands of moon-eyed fish could enter the Sebastocook on their own. The Sebastocook supports the largest annual run of river herring in New England. More than two and three quarter million river herring were able to swim up the river in 2011, an increase from just 47,000 in 2006. Last year, over three million. This year, the expectation, five million. Of course, this attracted the attention of the local raptors. First came the osprey, nesting and multiplying rapidly. Then came the eagles. The osprey is a better hunter and catcher than the eagle. The eagle just is a better thief. At times, takes full advantage of the osprey's catch. This picture and the last were taken by John Meter, who's here tonight, who let me borrow them. I'm not that talented a photographer. <laughs> this is a ge genuine Sebastian Cook moment. Seagulls, eagles flock, nest, and hunt this site in unprecedented numbers. Today, the Lower Sebastocook is the home to the largest congregation of eagles in the Northeast. This is, no is in no thanks to the return of the alewives, fresh water from, from the Atlanta. Um, on a single day in mid-June 2014, 64 eagles were observed, the largest aggregation of documented in New England. All of the eagle aggregations along the Sebastocook River span well beyond the period of the fish run. Everything eats alewives. Osprey, bald eagle, great blue heron, gulls, terns, cormorants, striped bass, bluefish, tuna, cod, halibut, haddock, American eel, brook trout, rainbow trout, brown trout, largemouth back, pickerel, pike, white and yellow perch, seals, whales, otters, mink, raccoon, skunk, and of course the fox. Humans have always made their homes along the Sebastocook. Since the disappearance of the glaciers, the abundance of fish, wildlife, and water allowed their existence. This was my great grandfather's farmstead on the river. The river provided water for livestock, ice harvesting, fishing, recreation. Thankfully, I lived here too. This is where nature and human technology meet and work to the benefit of both. Safe passage of the alewives produces wildlife diversity linked to our own survival through the food chain. The hydrocyte provides renewable, non-carbon electricity, and then there are the fish. These are the alewife harvesters. <clears throat> They are out on the ledges below the dam. They scoop the fish into their nets and put them in crates to take the co to the coast to sell to lobstermen to use as bait to catch lobsters. Lobsters love the taste of alewives, and we people love lobsters. The harvest can only take a number of fish that will not hurt the population. The limit helps the alewife species remain strong, so there will be enough alewives to ensure the future of the alewives and all the critters that they feed.
Here we're going to leave the Benton Falls. Some alewives will move into 25 Mile Stream at Burnham Junction. Some will head to Plymouth Pond. Some will go up the fish ladder at Sebastocook Lake in Newport and on to Stetson Lake, 100 miles from where they started. You might have figured out now that I'm a bear of very little brain and long words bother me. The alewife is an anadromous fish. Anadromous is a long word. Simply put, the fish lives between freshwater and saltwater. This is a snapshot of the saltwater side of things. To the US, this creature represents Maine. Without alewives, the lobster industry would crash. There is no other bait available in the spring. Lobstering is the biggest fishing industry left in the state. So we really need to celebrate the alewife. If you don't already know, we have a local celebration just 10 minutes from here in Benton, two weeks from tomorrow, May 18. You could come see the harvest, the fish, the osprey, the eagles, tour the dam, and the fish elevator. Many educational opportunities. We have a food truck with lobster rolls available as well. <laughs> it is not worth to go around the world to count the cats in Zanzibar, but you could come to Benton in a couple of weeks to count the alewives. Please do. I need to thank here it's the Sandy Olson of Troy for many of the images, text, and other resources in this PK. Time is but the stream I go fishing in. Thank you. Thank you.